This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create these double exposure logos using Inkscape. And if you'd like to learn more about how Inkscape works, be sure to check out the Inkscape Masterclass, which is a collection of over 50 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check that out. So I'm going to get started here in Inkscape. The first thing we want to do is just set up our documents so that we're all working with the similar workflow. I'm going to come up here where it says View, and I want to make sure we have Custom selected. And then I'll zoom. Go to Zoom, zoom in at one-to-one. -one. And then I want to open up the Align and Distribute menu with this button over here. We're going to want Last Selected chosen from that drop-down. And then I'll open up the Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu with this button right here so that we have those two menus open. Now what we're going to do is we're going to import some graphics from, um, from Pixabay, which is like a free stock photo site. With the double exposure logo, what you're, what you're pretty much doing is you're taking two different objects and combining them together into one object. Now let me show you what I mean here. I'm going to open up this website here. I'll have a link to all of this information in the uh, description of the video. I'm going to take a combination of this, uh, like this silhouette of uh, a skyline of trees here and combine it with one of these animals here. For the, for the thumbnail, I use the bear. That's what I'll be using in this uh, tutorial. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this, click on free download. I'm going to choose the vector graphic, the SVG. Download that. Let me minimize this and just click and drag this into Inkscape. There we go. And I want to come over here and do the same thing. Download this, the SVG. Download, there we go. Click and drag that into Inkscape, and there we go. Now let me open up Inkscape again. Now let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to hold control and roll down the mouse wheel a few times to zoom out. I want to take this over here. Let me try ungrouping this and seeing if I could. There we go. Just take this. I'm going to work with this one, with this one animal right here. I'm going to take the rest of these and press delete on the keyboard to get rid of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these objects and make them different colors and bring the opacity down so I can see them a little better. I'm going to, I'm going to start off with this object right here. I'm going to make this red, bring the opacity down roughly in half. And then I'll take the bear, I'm going to make this blue, and I'll bring the opacity of that down roughly in half as well. And I'm going to flip this horizontally, actually. I'm going to, where it says up here, flip selected objects horizontally, I'm going to flip that over there. And I just want to position the bear over the area of the trees where I'd like to combine it. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit by holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel. If you want to move the page around, you just press down on the mouse wheel and move the mouse. I'm just going to hold control and scale this up a little bit. I want to grab a sample. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bear and the trees and I'm going to do a path intersection between the two of them. And it's going to create an object that combines the two of these shapes right here. But when I do that, it's going to cut out the tops of the trees here because that's extending further than where the bear is. But I want to include those trees in this design. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab the Bezier pen, uh, which is over here. You can just press B on the keyboard, it's a keyboard shortcut. And I'm going to manually create a shape going around the tops of these trees here. And I'm going to unify it with the bear. So let me start out right over here. I'm going to click to create a shape going around the outside around here. Let me zoom in a little bit so I can see this a little better. Right over here. There we go. Zoom out. Bring it straight through the object and back to the starting point like that. Now what I'm going to do is go to the Select tool. I'm going to hold Shift. I'm going to click on the bear graphic with them both selected. I'll go to Path, Union. And now I will hold Shift and click on the trees so that I have both of those objects selected. And I will go to Path, Intersection. And you may have to give this a second to process because it's a pretty... Uh, it's a large photo here. It looks like it didn't work for this one. Let me deselect it. There might be, this actually might be gr a group of images. So let me try ungrouping this. Let me see if that helps. Oh, there we go. It was grouped, that's why. Let me bring the opacity down. Let me click off of the graphic to deselect everything and start off with this again. Click on this, hold shift, click on this, go to path, intersection, give it a second to do its thing. And there we go. As you can see, we have a combination of those two objects there. Now let me bring the opacity of this all the way up. Let me make this black or dark gray. And, and from here on out, you can just go ahead and add your, task, your text and whatever else you'd like to add. And that should pretty much do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about creating those double exposure style logos using Inkscape. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.